Hello, this is Eric at Prince George Ford, and we're taking a look at the 2020 Ford Escape Hybrid in a titanium trim and powered by a 2.5 liter hybrid engine, providing you with superior fuel efficiency, as well as some tax benefits and plenty of other great features, or benefits, I should say. Uh, and with all-wheel drive capabilities, you're going to be able to get around pretty well in the changing weather conditions, but let's take a look inside. First looking in the back where you have a nice power lift gate that opens up and out of the way for you. And then looking in you have a pretty spacious cargo area that can always be expanded by folding down the rear seats. And you do also have a 12 volt power outlet here. And then the hatch closes again with another simple press of a button. And now looking at the back seat where you have seating for three with a nice full leather interior. In the middle you have fold out armrest with two cup holders and a 110 volt power outlet down there. In the new Escape you can also slide the seats back and forth to create more legroom for your rear passengers. And this vehicle does also have a remote start, so no need to go outside on those cold mornings to warm up your car. And looking in, you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks, as well as a fully power adjustable driver's seat and three memory buttons for your power adjustable driver's seat and mirrors. And now sitting in the vehicle with it running and looking at the right side of the steering wheel where you have your controls for your center info screen here, which is fully digital. Uh, you can look at things such as your trip one and two information, your tire pressures, your comm screen, your fuel economy, and then you can also adjust what appears here. And uh, then up, well actually you do also have a button to raise and lower your heads up display here, where it will show you your digital speedometer as well as other information that you can put there I believe. And on the left side of the steering wheel where you have your cruise controls as well as your lane keeping system and distance pacing technology and uh, adaptive steering I believe. And then you have your hands-free phone and radio controls along the underside of those controls as well as your lane keeping system here on the end of the signal stock. But then moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is Radio Sirius and Bluetooth. So you do have some options there for whatever you want to listen to, however you want to listen to it. Then you have your Bluetooth phone controls, your navigation screen, so you're hopefully not going to get lost on your travels, whatever apps you may have installed, and then settings for your vehicle and some uh, and your screen in general. You can also check out your power flow here for your uh, battery, of course, since this is a, is a hybrid vehicle, and you can check your voltage and everything on the right side of your dash as well. Uh, but then, shifting into reverse, you do also have a backup camera with front and reverse sensors, so you're going to be able to see where you're going and hopefully avoid hitting anything with dynamic hit view, so you can zoom in and hopefully have an easier time hooking up a small trailer or something of the sort. And then moving on from that, you have your media controls and your hazards, as well as your climate controls down here with dual front climate and heated front seats with three levels each so you can stay cozy, as well as even a heated steering wheel so you can keep your fingers warm too. Then down here you have a cubby area with a wireless charging pad as well as a USB and 12 volt power outlet. So if your phone is compatible with wireless charging, just throw it on there and it'll do the rest. Uh, then you have your... Uh, main shifter here on a dial, uh, two cup holders, parking brake, your brake hold I believe, and then you have your uh, drive mode selector for normal, eco, sport, slippery, deep snow, sand, and normal again, and they have neat little graphics for that too. Then you have your parallel park assist too, and your uh, park assist sensor shut off. Not sure why you would use that, but it is there. And then you have your center compartment slash armrest, spacious and has a USB-C inside, so you can plug something in there. And last but not least, you have a panoramic vista roof up top, so you can let in the sun sunshine on a nice sunny day. Uh, but that should cover our look at the interior. So now if you're interested, feel free to give us a call at 250-563-8111 or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day.